Hello my lovely Pisces, welcome to your September 2020 reading. It's always a delight to be reading for you. I hope you're all safe and well. Journeying through 2020 well <laughs> because it's been quite a year hasn't it. This is a general reading for you my lovely Pisces. It's a reading for Pisces sun rising and moon sign. Also listen to your rising sign and moon sign because some months they'll resonate more for you than your sun sign will. So have a listen to that as well. This is a general reading. If you would like to have a private reading, a personal reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a reading from there, which will be specific to you. I'm just creating your spread here, my lovely Pisces. I'd also like to say thank you to my lovely Piscean, that subscriber that sends me these beautiful flowers. They're just gorgeous. So I'm going to say that, put it out there. Thank you very much for those. It brings me much joy. And for my subscribers too, to have a look at those. Okay, so what's in store for you this month? My lovely Pisces, you know, I feel like it's been a little bit bumpy for you. Uh, it has, you know, it's, it has been a little bit bumpy for you, uh, even on an emotional level, even on an emotional level. But I feel like, um, what's the confusion here? What's the confusion? I, I feel like I'm coming through something, out of something. Um, it, it, it's about finding your words, I want to say. It's about finding your words here, um, which is a really, really odd thing to say, but it really is about a rebirth. It's about a rebirth here. It's about finding your voice, um, and it's about creating something new for you is coming up. There's something new coming up for you, Pisces. There's something new that's coming up for you, um, which is really bizarre. And, you know, even the cards are flipping all over the place. You know, things need to be sorted. I feel like, okay, that's it. That's the confusion. I feel like there needs to be some sort of sorting that's going to go through, go here. It's coming, it's, it's happening in September. There's some sort of sorting, sorting out, sorting through, um, even clarifying your mental, you know, your thoughts, what you're wanting, what you're, where you want to move to, what you want to do, um, what changes you want to bring in. So there's some sort of sorting. What is, what are you not happy with that you want to change? That sort of, you know, that dissatisfaction about the certain things in your life are going to be magnified. Uh, in a, and the reason for that is that let's move those out and move move to where we want to be, create what we want to create, have in our reality what we want to have in our reality. Your guides are speaking to you as well. Your guides are speaking to you as well. Okay. So, you know, we'll, we'll start here with, you know, wish upon a star. You've got the star here and this is, this is, this is wish upon a star, but it's also about changing your perspective. You know, stars are up high in the sky and to me, this means um, when you are standing back from a situation, you can look at it. It's about looking at things in a different way, changing your perspective about something that is um, needing to be changed, needing to be reassessed. What what are you feeling dissatisfied in? For some of you, it's let's do a little bit of redecorating. Let's make some changes in your home environment to make it more comfortable for you. Um, working differently. Um, some of you, there's a new idea coming. There's a new idea coming. So there's a new venture that's coming up for you. There's something that's coming up for a review. There's a new venture or a new way of, of doing something or earning money um, where it fits more comfortably with you. It fits more comfortably with you. It's, it's, um, it sits well with you, uh, with, with the, those changes, with that, 
you know, okay, I'm going to look at my life differently from a different perspective and what am I not happy with? What is it that I want to change? What, you know, what do I move some furniture around, redecorate? I don't know what it is for you. Looking at how you work, where you work, who you work with, um, how you socialize, who you socialize with, if you can socialize in these times, but, um, you know, even, even over the internet. Something that you're changing, Pisces, something that you're changing, something that you're changing. Um, and that's going to create for you an environment that you're going to be more satisfied with, an environment where you're going to feel more at peace, I want to say, more at peace, more at home, more secure, more safe, sort of a little, little, you know, um, go, going back into your cave, feeling safe, enjoying what's around you, enjoying what you've created. Um, and the finer, all the best, all the good things in life are coming your way. You know, with that clearing out of what you, no longer serves you, you're making room for all these wonderful things to come into your life, for things to fall into place. Uh, and so start creating the, um, the reality, the world, the life that you're wanting to create. That's going to be really important. And it's interesting too because, you know, you've got the Eight of Cups. And so there's something that you're, you're you, there's something that's come to completion and there's something that you're walking away from, but you are walking away from it. You're ready to walk away from it. And it's in that um, change of perspective, I guess, you know, changing the perspective and having new things come into your life. You're needing to walk away from circumstances, situations, people work, behaviours, thought patterns, attitudes, um, self-talk, what is it for you that you're, you've decided, okay, that's it, no more, I'm, this is about me, so I feel like September is really going to be about you, what is it that you want, what do you want to create, where do you want to move to, what do you want to do with your life, so it's about you really and, and you're so ready for this change, you're so ready for the change interesting and that's crossed by the devil card so while you're ready for this change just be mindful that you're not taking the easy options okay not taking the easy options sometimes the best choices for you are not the easiest choices so really think about why am I making that decision what is motive what's my motivation for making that decision but it's also about not allowing other people to pull your strings not allow not allowing other people to uh, manipulate you, not allowing other people to get you to do what they want you to do and make the choices that they want. And, you know, Pisces does that. You know, we, we tend to, you know, like water in a vessel, we take the shape of that vessel. But this month, it's about you creating your own uh, vessel, you creating your own reality and not being manipulated to do what somebody else wants you to do or the expectations that, that others want of you. And it could be your family, it could be your friends, it could be your, your boss, it could be your work environment. What is it that, that is could be um, manipulating you to make choices that are not exactly right for you, okay? Because there are, and you know there are, there are decisions and choices here for you to make, okay? There are decisions here. And so it's about making informed decisions. Here he's playing chess, you know? It's about thinking about your next move. That's the next choice. If I make this choice, if I make this move, if I do this, what are the consequences of that? And, and really analyse it, look at it from different perspectives. Here we're coming up with perspectives again. Look at it from different perspectives. Make an informed decision. Project ahead. Look at what the consequences are and what move you're going to make. It's about being strategic. And once you've worked that out, that decision is going to be very easy for you to make. So let's, you know, it's about being strategic in your next move. What do I want to do? What move do I want to make? Um, why am I making it? Am I making it because someone's forcing me into making a, a choice that suits them? Or am I doing it for myself? So there's a lot of thinking that needs to happen here. And let's see where that leads to. So you're making these, you know, strategic choices, informed decisions. Um, 
which leads to the fool. And that's the dancer on a, on a cliff, on a precipice. Uh, but standing there with joy, standing there unencumbered, there's no baggage because you've left that behind. You've left the baggage behind. And so there's no baggage. So it's amazing how these cards fall into place, isn't it? And and so leaving that, leaving what no longer serves you behind, closing that door because you're so ready to do that. This is something you're doing. It's not something that's imposed on you. You have the fool, and he this is someone that you know he's he's dancing up on a pre precipice, uh, and there's a new beginning. There's no baggage. There's nothing holding him back, and and it, he's fearless. He's fearless, ready to embrace the new, ready to embrace this new start. The Fool is also the first card in the tarot deck. So the, this is, and so the journey begins. Uh, and so the journey begins. And um, so there's a new start here. There's a new start that's coming, a new beginning. And that can be a new beginning. It doesn't have to be a new physical beginning of, you know, moving house and job. And it can be a new new beginning, a new dawning of awareness for you on a spiritual level, on a um, mindset level, on how you perceive um, your life. There could be changes that happen there that could be quite subtle for onlookers but quite profound for you. And so there's that new, new beginning, a new outlook, a new way you're going to conduct yourself or live your life. Okay, which which leads to the moon, which is which is shifts and changes on your on a subconscious level. And this is going into the depths of who you are, into your essence. This is where we hide um, th those secret compartments and, and that uh, our secret selves that, that people don't know about, our thoughts, our dreams, our desires. They're all there in the subconscious. And so that's something that's going to be explored by you. It's delving deep. It's delving deep beneath the surface it's delving behind the scene it's it's going into the subconscious for some of you it's working with your shadow self what's holding you back where are your blocks where do they originate from why are you why do you react to certain situations in certain ways uh, that's all going to uh, come up for you in September this review this review which always goes back to the star, which is a change of perspective. You're going to look at things differently. And that's a healing process. If you're going to delve into the subconscious, delve into the shadow self, uh, that's, that's a cleansing. That's a cleansing of that, that part of you. Re removing blocks so that you can move forward because there is an explosion of growth that's coming here, an explosion of growth and forward movement for you, my lovely Pisceans. Because then you've got the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands is, is for some of you, it's you standing strong, standing confident, and being really protective about how far you've come and what you have, and um, who you are, and who you're becoming. Playing your cards close to your chest and being really confident and strong. So, this is the new you that's emerging here. This is the new you that's emerging here. It's about you it's about you it's not about doing for others here it's not about about ensuring that others are okay this is about working with the self working with you working with you for some of you it's an Aries Leo Sagittarius sun rising or moon sign that is around you that is a huge source of strength and support around you very very grounded very grounded um, where you know Pisces can be out there, this person brings you back down and grounds you so that you can really look at what changes you're bringing in and how you can translate that into the practicalities of life. A lot of fun too. This person that's around you is a lot of fun as well. Um, they have a lot of fun. Uh, they're very carefree. So that's also a good quality for you to have at the moment. These changes are going to be very beneficial for you, my lovely Pisces. You've got the sun. These, are going, these changes are going to bring 
um, to you all things that are positive. Um, opportunities are going to come your way. You're going to see opportunities that you didn't see before. You're going to go for job interviews that you would normally not have gone for or, or have the strength to go for a promotion, the confidence to go for a promotion. Play those cards close to your chest though. There's a new venture or a new business you want to launch. It's about putting in the work, putting in the effort, um, and that is going to reap fantastic results for you because it's, you know, the, the sun is, you know, anything you touch is going to turn to gold. The sun is such a positive card. Um, it's, it, it lights up everything. There's nothing that's hidden. Um, all opportunities are revealed. There's nothing that's going to be standing in your way. Anything that you want to put in place September is an absolutely fabulous month, particularly the second half of September. It's going to be a very, very good month for you to put things in play, to um, bring them into your reality, to, to make them happen. It just Everything's just going to fall into place. There's nothing holding you back here. And that leads to the Eight of Pentacles, which means that there's an improvement in your finances. So there's an improvement in, in abundance in finances for you as, to, as we will move towards the end of September. So having the courage to put these things in place, you are going to see an improvement in finances here, something that you've you're planning, you're working towards, it's your, through your efforts that you're going to see an increase in finances. It Karmically, it's your time. Karmically, this is going to come to you. It's going to be given to you by the universe, by God, whatever it is you want to call it, by source. Uh, so have a positive state of mind. But there is going to be an increase in finances coming your way in September which I absolutely love and it leads to the Prince of Swords and this is about, this is no time to be sitting pretty, this is about no time to be sitting back and allowing, um, you know, hoping for the best and, and, and being fatalistic. This is about you taking action, you making things work, you speaking to people, having interviews, um, putting yourself out there and you um, are going to really reap the benefits of that. So it's about action and that takes you into October. So this is really about action here. It's about you um, moving forward with confidence, with action. Yeah. It's, this, is, this is an increase in finances through your efforts, through your work, through your work, being emotionally balanced, confident and something that you're going to do, any any plans that you are going to make that you want to put something into, give something motion, um, put something into play, it's going to be very beneficial for you. So it's a really good month for that. What an interesting month. Wow. Okay. The Angels of Abundance. Let's have a look, Pisces. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Ah. <laughs> deservingness that's appropriate isn't it deservingness so let's see let me read that for you you are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to to focus upon the div your divine life purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are and that sums up your monthly reading just beautifully absolutely it's your time to shine here Pisces your time to shine I love that so I wish you health happiness Happy journeying and many, many blessings, my lovely Pisceans. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my